Hey guys, this is Scott. I recorded a UFO over a volcano in Japan on a live cam, of course. And look at this object. Do you see this dark black object? It's like a pillar. It's like some kind of a weird alien craft you might see in a movie or something. This is just a screenshot, guys. This is just a screenshot. And I added darkness so you can see it. Now here is the original. Here is back to normal. Okay, uh, so this is the original right here, and you can still see the craft, the object over here, and it looks like it's sucking something. And let's come over to this one. Here's another one. It's really hard to see, uh, zoomed out. It's a close-up, actually, a screenshot. Now, when I hit autofocus, and it just, look at that. Guys, you can see this object is a solid object back there. It is a solid object, and it just jumps from one to the other. I'll show you the video in just a second. If you get bored, just jump to the end of the video. But I want to show you evidence first that these things, whatever this is, is a solid object. Now, these are the clouds down here. This is the UFO. Crazy cool, crazy cool. Let's go to a different one. Okay, here is the object over here. Let's try to focus it as best we can. Add some deepening and darkness to kind of bring it out. Okay, you can see the difference when I touch the screen, normal, focused. And that's kind of weird. Let's try to make it sharper. Not sure if this is going to work or not. I've haven't tried this one yet no no don't save it okay so that is an object almost looks like a giant shadow of a walking person very weird guys very very weird and it has a date right there on it you can see when it was taken but let's go back to normal nuts that's just nuts here's another one the autofocus didn't quite do what it needed to do you can see this one but this one is what I wanted to show you. There is not one. There is two in, in this original camera that I recorded everything from. But this one down here fades in and out, disappears and reappears. Let's try to add some sharpening so you could see it. There was some screenshots. But look at this. Look at this, guys. You can see the UFO up here. And you can see the one down here. Now the mouth of the volcano. The mouth of the volcano is right here. So this one is actually in front of the volcano. I think this one's over the volcano. Kind of crazy. Just something I wanted to share with you about that. Okay, uh, guys, let me show you. Let me show you the footage that I got. All right, guys, here we are with the original footage. It's totally untouched. It's just uh, captured, and this is from the live cam. You can see these this black object up there. It's kind of strange. It's just sitting there, and you think, well, that would never work out for a shape of a UFO. Well, in a UFO, you literally could be upside down above a building or something, and you totally wouldn't feel it because of your anti-gravity. If you got speed of light, you got time travel, there's definitely anti-gravity. You don't want to be floating around during this time. Now, if you fast forward, you could see something happen. Now, watch a bird flying from over here, flies up, suddenly stops, goes straight down. What the heck, guys? What the heck? What's going on there? Now that looked like a bird that just hit something, knocked out and fell straight down, and then kind of woke up halfway down and started flying off again. Let's look at that again. Watch this. There it goes, there it goes. Boom. What the hell? Did you see that? That is so weird. It's like there's some kind of force field going around this object and I'll show you that with added contrast in just a minute look at this object parts of it go behind the clouds and parts of it stay in front and it actually change seems to change shape look at that see the clouds are in front of it the clouds are in front of it guys that's 100% proof it's not some reflection look at that clouds are in front of it 
See, it's not a smudge. It's not a reflection. This object is something that's outside, something that's over the mouth of the volcano. Wow, guys, that's nuts. It's behind. You can still see a little bit. And you're, there it is. You're seeing it more and more. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, so you can see it now against the clouds. It's in there. It's there. Now this is actually nine minutes of video here, but let's look at something that has added contrast so you could really see this object better. This has so much added contrast and light that uh, it kind of ruined it, pixelated it a little bit, but you can still see the object is there. Okay, it's right up here. Can't miss it sticking out. Uh, all right, let's move forward a little bit. And at a few points, this object clearly looks 3D. Guys, that's weird. Oh, bird, bird, bird. Boom, what did I just hit? Damn. Do you see that? That's nuts. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Hey, I'm just a regular bird flying around, having fun in the sky over a volcano, and bam! What the hell, bro? Can't believe what I just hit up there. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be something around this UFO, a shield or something that's protecting it, which explains a lot of dead birds falling from the sky around the world constantly, uh, all the time, different months, in different locations. That's just kind of, you know, obvious. Now, let's go forward a little bit. Right here, you can really see some of the, the 3D-ness of it. You can see that it is a real 3D object. It doesn't look 2D anymore. Here's some clouds coming. Now notice this cloud up there looks like a, a thin disk. And as it gets to right over the volcano, disappears. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. And they look like they're the same shape but at a different angle. The black one and the white one. Now watch the white one. It's about to, it is disappearing. It is just, boom, fading into a disappearance. It's gone. It's gone. So, really strange right there. But the black object is still there. Remember, I added contrast for this part of the video here. So, what you're looking at is added contrast, added light. You could do it for yourself on your own video editing equipment. Maybe you have less pixelization, but I doubt it because this is marked HD as a cam, but it's not HD. Obviously, it's like an iPhone 3. Look at this. It goes right into the clouds, guys. Do you see that? Right there. Only the top part's left. You see that? You can see this object right here. It looks so 3D. It's almost like a sideways submarine. And as we're watching it, it's behind the clouds, guys. Behind the clouds. Almost totally engulfed by the clouds. Totally behind the clouds. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost my voice there. <clears throat> totally behind the clouds there, guys. That is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I haven't even looked at this part of the video. I just wanted to start making it and sharing it with you so you can make your own conclusions about it. Uh, this is just mind-blowing to me. This is, whatever this is, it shows proof that this thing is behind the clouds at times, in front of the clouds at times, and half and half. Guys, this is so weird. Oh, man. I love this part right here where you can see the 3D-ness of it. You can see the 3D-ness. Okay, guys, tell me your thoughts in the about description below. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. In the about description, I will put the URL to the actual live cam I recorded this at. It's on right now. You can see it and check it out. Judge for yourself. Take some screenshots. Make your own videos. And uh, tell me your thoughts about this. What do you think is going on? And why are they always over volcanoes? This one, Japan. Okay, guys. Have a good weekend. And holy crap, what the hell's going on in Japan?